Number one, River Where the Moon Rises, Jisoo. Now, male actor Jisoo has been a familiar face to K-drama lovers for years. Always the charming second male lead, we have seen him in famous series like Strong Woman Do Bong Soon and Moon Lovers. So everyone had been anticipating the day the actor played the male lead, which finally happened in 2021, as Jisoo nailed the leading role in the period drama River Where the Moon Rises. However, the joy didn't manage to last for long, and as of March 2021, the once charming actor was caught up in a list of controversies that shocked the entire K-drama community. From sexual abuse to school violence, various victims spoke up against Jisoo, and the controversies got so bad, the actor ended up being removed from his long-awaited male lead position. Now, if you're wondering how bad the situation was at the time, TV channel NBC had dedicated a whole special program called True Story to unfold Jisoo's dark past. Apparently, the actor had allegedly extorted money from fellow schoolmates, beat them up should they dare go against him, forced people to do his tests, and was basically unstoppable. The actor was also accused of forcing other students to be his clowns, his servants, his minions, and victims claimed that they were still terrified of him despite it having been years. And the result of this scandal? Well, the actor had been sent packing, despite River Where the Moon Rises having finished 95% of its filming. Worse, the drama was already on air for five episodes, so everything had to be refilmed, re-edited, and Na In Woo, the actor that replaced Jisoo, along with the female lead Kim So Hyun, had to act over 30 scenes a day. Meanwhile, Jisoo joined the military, which basically means he will disappear from the entertainment industry for at least two years to come. His abrupt exit from River Where the Moon Rises also ended in huge disputes, the production team demanding for a 3 million won compensation. Unfortunately, while Jisoo has been cleared of the sexual harassment claims, for now, his bullying scandal stands. It didn't help that Jisoo's contract with his company expired the same year, so he's going to be on his own in this battle. Number 2. Sponsor – Lee Ji-hoon Speaking of River Where the Moon Rises, if you had watched the series, you'd probably remember actor Lee Ji-hoon, who played the female lead's mentor, as well as a candidate for her heart. He has gained a certain following after the series ended, which helped him in gaining a leading role in the IHQ drama Sponsor. However, Lee Ji-hoon's career is heading up a rocky path, seeing that he's now pushed from male lead to supporting role after getting entangled in a power abuse controversy on the set of Sponsor. To elaborate, in early November 2021, Lee Ji-hoon got involved in a scuffle between the floor director and a friend who came on set unannounced. Shortly after, said director posted on social media, accusing Ji-hoon of calling a thug to the set, who verbally thrashed at and even threatened the staff with violence. Ji-hoon, meanwhile, denied the accusation, rushing to explain that it was just a mere misunderstanding, and his friend only came on set to celebrate the actor's birthday. The issue soon died down, and the two sides reconciled, but that's only the start of troubles. Soon enough, other accusations popped up, accusing Ji-hoon of being unprofessional and arriving late to filming, inconveniencing everyone. A couple of screenwriters, as well as staff members, also added to the fire, claiming that they lost their job since the actor complained about this lack of screen time. However, Ji-hoon's agency quickly refuted their claims, explaining that Lee Ji-hoon received a script completely different from what he was promised, and only spoke out against it. In the end, the accusation stopped, but Ji-hoon was suddenly not present at the series' press conference earlier this year, while promotional pictures also excluded him despite still presenting his co-stars Han Chae young and Koo Ja-sung. The actor had apparently been demoted to being the second, instead of the first lead like initially announced. And needless to say, this left Ji-hoon's fans at a loss for words. Number 3. Taxi Driver – Lee na -un. For our next case, let's look into the popular series Taxi Driver, which also shares the burden of having to replace a main character due to bullying scandals. We all love actress Pyo Yejin as the master hacker An Ga Un in the series, but her appearance had actually been a last minute decision. Now, to understand exactly what happened, it's important to look at the idol actress Lee Na Un, who you might have spotted in 18 in Extraordinary You. She was supposed to play Go Un, and even attended script reading sessions as well as finished filming for a lot of scenes. However, one month prior to the drama's airing, a notorious scandal exploded across the net wherein Na Eun's group, April, was accused of mistreating their former member, Lee Hyun-ju. 
The allegation started from the younger brother of Hyunju herself, who claimed that April had relentlessly bullied his sister, to the point that Hyunju suffered from panic attacks, and eventually tried to end her life. April had constantly taken his sister's possessions without asking, cursed her, acted rudely towards their parents, and always singled Hyunju out. He also attached his sister's medical records, which showed clearly her mental sufferings. As a result, April was under fire from the public, and Naum suffered the repercussion. It didn't help that her past posts and photos, where she flipped people off and used bad words, were dug up, smearing her image further in the public eye. And faced against heavy public pressure, on March 10th, the production team of Taxi Driver finally decided to remove the idol actress from the cast and replace her with Pyo Ye Jin. It was a welcome move, as the public was ready to have Na Eun be completely removed from the industry. This, however, also means that the crew had to reshoot 60% of the finished footage, and Pyo Ye Jin had to work tirelessly to film around 40 scenes a day. Her hard work had paid off, however, as Taxi Driver was madly successful, and Pyo Ye Jin received constant praise for her acting skills. What about Na Eun, you ask? Well, her and her agency had since pushed forth various rebuttals towards all accusations, claiming innocence for the group. Whether they can sway the public's opinion, however, remains an unanswered question. Number 4. School 2021. An Sohyun and Kim Young Dae. Well, all the above cases had been when actors were forced to quit due to scandals. But how about occasions where they left themselves? For this, there's no better example than School 2021 and its endless casting dramas. First, we had the series' issue with the young actress An Seo Hyun, who was allegedly cast to be the female lead. However, in March 2020, KBS announced that Seo Hyun is not joining their series due to her father's excessive demands, while the actress's side retaliated, saying that they had been forcefully removed. The result? An endless back-and-forth battle leaving the drama, which was supposed to air in 2020, in a standstill. But this is not the end of the problem, as upon July 2021, School 2020, now renamed School 2021, saw another main cast member drop out. This time, it was actor Kim Young Dae, who, according to KBS, had left in a one-sided decision, thus affecting many in the production process. Meanwhile, Young Dae's agency, Outer Korea, told a different story. According to them, the production company failed to pay cast and staff, and changed the script without the actors knowing, resulting in Young Day's character turning out completely different from what he was promised. The arguments never saw results, but on a positive note, every party of this scandal came out alright. School 2021, for starters, had found different actors, and aired as planned, though it wasn't as successful as other series in the school franchise. Meanwhile, both So Hyun and Young Day got picked for new projects, with the horror film Oh My Ghost for the actress, and the upcoming series Shooting Stars for the actor. At least there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Number 5. Return. Pak Hye Un. Finally, let's approach a quite curious case, as the rookie actress Pak Hye Un had to leave the TV and drama Return due to, quote, her poor acting skills. There's not much to say about the situation, since the news just dropped suddenly in July 2021. The reason for why she left, though, left netizens jaw-dropped, turning onto the production team for being too harsh on the actress. They believed that by directly saying that her acting is poor, the return team basically just ruined an emerging actress for life. They, the production team, choose her in the audition, cast her in the first place. What kind of bullshit excuse is this? The production team and the media are so wrong for this. I wish the drama flopped so bad. Comments like this filled up every single article, signaling the public's fury. Some even called out the team for being hypocrites, as there's no one good at acting in the lineup, except for Lee Jae-wook. They even speculated that Ye Eun was kicked out to make way for a bigger star. And that's the list. What are your thoughts regarding these situations? Do you think these actors and actresses should be replaced? Let us know in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. See ya!